Honorable Akala Samuel Gajeri, popularly known with his Munatari political slogan, whose hashtag today is a household name in Nasarawa State and beyond. Honorable Akala's rise to political limelight is a direct result of his commitment, honesty, perseverance, hard work, and humility. His passion for excellence and leadership that seeks to advance the course of humanity saw him rise to the position of special advisor to His Excellency Umarutanko Almakura, the Executive Governor of Nasarawa State in 2015, and at present the Executive Chairman, Karu Local Government Council of Nasarawa State, Nigeria from the 29th of May 2018 till date. My inspiration on leadership and development is just my yearning on doing the right thing. When we come into power, he spent almost one year looking at the problems of the communities. Honorable Akala Samuel Gajeri, as the executive chairman, Karu Local Government Council, Nasarawa State, has recorded the following achievements within a year and a half of his administration in Karu. Sound economic policy framework clearly set out the vision and mission of his administration, crafted the core values and ensure all staff key in, digitalization and centralization of the council's tax administration with a resultant boost in revenue generation of over 300% increase in internal revenue generation of the council, passage of 17 bylaws which is in force in Karu today, regulating staff behaviors and the council activities, as well as the entire business community's activities in Karu Local Government Council. The convening of the monthly expanded Security Council meeting with all stakeholders, which has improved the security of lives and property of Karu citizens, thereby guaranteeing peaceful coexistence infrastructural development, reconstruction and upgrading of the chairman's block to provide a status befitting office for the executive chairman and boost the council image as the gateway to Nasarawa State, reconstruction, expansion and grading of Karu local government council legislative chambers to provide a serene work environment equipped with modern office high technology of international standard for real legislative business and as well as augment the state government with a standard meeting venue with a high power team of investors. And this upgrading of this office, I think it will give us a chance to perform our work very effectively. Acquisition and renovation of the local government guest house in New Nyanya grading of Tuturu Capital Gateway Road, one kilometer asphalt Ado Kubaru Road construction project. Provision and installation of two kilometer solar street lights in New Karu and Ado Roads. Akala has made very significant impact. You could see his, um, he has demonstrated capacity to deliver in terms of uh, services and projects. Drilled 15 hand pump boreholes across 11 electoral wards in Karu local government area with one 10,000 liter capacity industrial borehole situated in Angwantudumwada, Maraba. Construction of three classroom blocks at the primary school Maraba. Provision of 700 wooden desks to be distributed across schools. 
the reconstruction of Kitata Primary School. Renovation and upgrading of Pilot Primary School Masaka. Renovation and upgrading of Takalafia Primary School. Renovation and upgrading of Bagaji Primary School. Renovation and upgrading of Koso Primary School in Panda Development Area. Renovation and upgrading of Angwanjaba Primary School in Panda Kari Ward. Healthcare Intervention Projects Fencing and renovation of Nyanya Gwandara Primary Healthcare Clinic. This primary healthcare was in a stage that people would be asking, is this truly a primary healthcare? But with the intervention now, people are happy. Those that have been going far away for their services, they are coming back home now. Fencing and renovation of Algon Clinic, Karu. Reconstruction and upgrading of primary healthcare clinic, Uke. Reconstruction and upgrading of primary healthcare clinic, Gurku 2. Yagala Asibitochi, primary health cares across Karu local government. Achikim primary health cares, the Yagala Akweno Gurukuma Achiki. Ending of percentage payments of salaries in the local government and ensuring 100% prompt payments. Biometric data capturing of all staff of the council, thereby providing soft copies of all staff files with their verified authentic bio data. This is to provide security to staff details, weed out ghost workers, reduce wage bill and enhance accountability. This is the first time we are seeing a chairman that is focused. This is the first time I've seen a chairman that is very transparent. I can tell you he's a good manager of resources. Having Akala as a chairman uh, is a goal to Karu people. Development and investment attractions. The council has visited the following organizations. Courtesy visits to the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency. Office of the Secretary to the Federation, Abuja. Federal Ministry of Science and Technology Headquarters, Abuja. Ecological Fund Office, Abuja. National Agency for Science and Engineering Infrastructure Headquarters, Abuja. MTN Regional Office, Abuja. Seeking support and collaboration to provide telecommunications network coverage in Panda Community. Rural Electrification Agency Headquarters, Abuja. UN Habitat Regional Office for Africa, Nairobi, Kenya. Honorable Samuel Akala Gajiri has bagged several awards. But most importantly, he bagged the award of the best and most performing executive chairman in Nasarawa State. He has upscaled the level of governance. He has led by example very dynamic, hard-working young man uh, who attempts to uh, develop the principles of inclusive governance. His leadership style is exceptional. He has performed credibly well and is a reference point and model for youths and leadership. Since the assertion of Samuel Gajiri Akala, you can even see from the edifice which he has put in place within the atmosphere of Karoloka Government Secretariat, that alone is a milestone. I must say that we have been enjoying his uh, leadership style. Me and other traditional leaders are quite satisfied with so many things that he's doing so far. He came with a vision. He came prepared to transform the lives of the people of Karo. And from what we have seen so far as a party, we are very satisfied. I want to congratulate you and members of your team for the review of your performance which you have given to us in a very short time that you have been in office. For us here, we are simply doing our job, but I want to tell you that we are encouraged by that. Uh, it means that the state is watching. It means that the citizens are seeing what we are doing. That for us is a boost and is a wake-up call. It means that we must not go down below what they have seen. We will continue to drive in that direction and ensure that 
our activities are highly transparent and that we do it with the fear of God and mostly ensure that our people remains our major priority.